the moonlight illuminated my path as I left the grand hall behind, his lifeless body consumed by the roots that had become my instruments of revenge. The wind carried whispers, not from the forest this time, but from something deeper. The power that surged through me was intoxicating, and yet it felt wrong. There was no denying the satisfaction of seeing him fall, but the emptiness inside remained, a hollowness that his death hadn't filled. I thought vengeance would set me free, but it had only awakened something darker. As I wandered through the forest again, it didn't feel like home anymore. The trees that had once saved me now seemed to watch with suspicion, the energy in the air different from before. It was as if they knew, they could sense the change in me, just as I could. I had been reborn, but what exactly had I become? My nights were filled with restless dreams, flashes of the past and glimpses of the future. I saw the faces of those I had killed, twisted in pain, pleading for mercy. Their voices followed me even in my waking hours, whispering accusations, taunting me with their agony. They weren't just memories. I could feel their presence lingering around me, growing stronger with each passing day. One night, I found myself standing before the same oak tree where I had been bound, the place of my rebirth, the place where everything had changed. The air was still, the silence heavy. I knelt before the ancient tree, placing my hand on its rough bark, and whispered, Why? Why me? The tree remained silent, but the earth beneath me pulsed with a strange energy, as if answering a question I didn't know I had asked. My heart raced as the ground trembled slightly, and I heard it, a voice, faint but unmistakable, coming from within the depths of the earth. You were chosen, the voice said, cold and distant, chosen to be the vessel. My blood turned to ice, a vessel for what? The voice did not answer directly. Instead, a dark mist began to rise from the ground, swirling around me. It was thick, suffocating, like smoke from a fire that couldn't be extinguished. As it encircled me, I felt a familiar presence within it, the same darkness that had saved me from death, the same force that had given me my power. I tried to stand, to pull away from the mist, but it held me in place. The voice spoke again, louder this time, as if it were inside my very mind. For centuries, we have waited for one worthy of this power, one who has tasted betrayal, suffered injustice, and risen from the ashes. You are that one, and now, you will carry us with you. The mist coiled around me, sinking into my skin, filling my lungs. I gasped, choking on the weight of it. As visions flooded my mind, I saw wars waged in shadows, kingdoms falling to ruin, all brought down by this same force. And now, it was inside me. I was its vessel, its chosen harbinger. No, I screamed, clawing at the ground, trying to tear the mist from my body. But it was futile. It had already become a part of me. When the mist finally dissipated, I collapsed to the ground, trembling and drenched in sweat. The whispers were louder now, not just from the spirits of the dead, but from the very force that had claimed me. It was a living darkness, feeding on my rage, my sorrow, and it demanded more. More blood, more vengeance. I staggered to my feet, my breath ragged. I had thought my thirst for revenge would end with his death, but it had only grown stronger. The darkness inside me was insatiable. It wanted me to continue the path I had started, to hunt down anyone who had ever wronged me, to punish them as I had punished him. But I wasn't that person anymore. I didn't want to be a puppet for this power. I had been given a second chance at life, and I refused to waste it on more killing, more destruction. Leave me, I demanded. My voice hoarse, I won't be your vessel. But the darkness only laughed, a chilling sound that echoed through the forest. You don't have a choice. You are bound to us now. There is no escape. Panic gripped me as I realized the truth in its words. The power that had saved me had come at a cost, a cost I hadn't understood until now. I wasn't just its vessel. I was its prisoner. Desperate, I sought out the only one who might have the answers. Deep in the forest, there was an ancient sage, a woman who had lived for centuries and knew the secrets of the earth and the stars. If anyone could help me, it was her. I traveled for days the whispers growing louder, the darkness within me stronger. My hands shook, my mind teetering on the edge of madness, but I had to keep going. I had to find a way to rid myself of this curse before it consumed me completely. When I finally reached the sage's dwelling, she was waiting for me. Her eyes, as ancient as the forest itself, seemed to pierce through my soul. She said nothing as I approached, only nodded, as if she already knew what I had come for. I need your help, I pleaded. This darkness, it's inside me, 
I can't control it. The sage studied me for a long moment, her face expressionless. Then she spoke, her voice calm and steady. You cannot fight it, child. The more you resist, the stronger it will become. But I don't want this power. I cried. I never asked for it. The forest chose you, she said softly. It saw your pain, your suffering, and it gave you the strength to survive. But that strength comes with a price. You cannot escape it. You can only learn to live with it. I shook my head. There must be a way to stop it. The sage sighed, her gaze softening. There is a way, but it is dangerous. You must journey to the heart of the forest, to the place where the veil between worlds is thinnest. There, you will find the source of this power, but be warned it will not let you go easily. I swallowed hard, fear coiling in my chest. What will happen if I fail? If you fail, she said quietly, you will become one with the darkness, forever. I knew what I had to do. My journey wasn't over yet, the darkness inside me was growing, but I still had one chance to rid myself of it. One final battle awaited me against the force that had bound itself to my soul.